www.cars.coza Right, climbing into the car for the very first time. I haven't practiced this, but Dani has given me some pointers. So, butt first into the passenger seat, sort of, and then feet into the footwell and slide in. Okay, I can imagine arriving outside a nightclub and extracting yourself from this car is very glamorous. Oh, okay, I'm stuck. Ow. <laughs> uh, I'm glad I'm short. Uh, whoo. <laughs> that is not easy. It's a bit of a squeeze. Wow. <laughs> but central driving position, so it's all worth it. All right, you want to show me how to turn it on? Yeah, there we go. Okay, right, that up, eh? There we go. All right. A little bit on the accelerator. A little bit of gas. Yeah, and right. hold this in. Press it hard. Until yeah. she cranks. This is definitely a race car, not a road car. A hand-built McLaren F1 LM. Only five of these were ever made in real life and one prototype. If you want one, you're looking at north of 300 million Rand. 300 million! And so if you don't have 300 million Rand to spend, well then you could just build yourself one, I suppose, like Donnie's done. What an incredible achievement this is. And the thing is, you know, McLaren didn't exactly publish a blueprint for the car. It's not, you know, you can't exactly go out and buy a kit. Dani hand sculpted all, everything you see here based on pictures and scale models. That's it, that's all he had to go on. But you know, as far as homemade cars go, this is pretty impressive. Throttle feels good, the clutch position is good, brake feel is good, the shifting action is nice and positive, nice and notchy. So for all intents and purposes, it's kind of a normal car. There's three pedals by my feet, there's a steering wheel in my hand, there's a gear shifter to my right. However, <laughs> I'm sitting in the middle dead center of the car and if this isn't the best view in motoring I don't know what is that was going to be a challenge and so being quite good with his hands quite crafty a skilled mechanic he set about building one from scratch this is not a fiberglass body built onto some sort of chassis 
he built the chassis himself. Some of the body panels are aluminium, some are carbon fiber, some are fiberglass. Everything front of the driver, everything front of the doors is carbon fiber. The chassis is a combination of aluminium and carbon fiber. And so while the original weighed 1140 kilograms, this car comes in at 1180. That's how close he got to matching the original weight of the car. That's less than a Mazda MX-5. And of course, the original car was famous for having one of the best engines ever created, supplied by BMW, when Honda refused to do it. A 6.1 liter naturally aspirated V12 with 461 kilowatts, 650 horsepower. It is widely regarded as one of the best engines ever made. And so, to be as close to the original as possible, Dani sourced a V12 from a BMW 850. So there is a BMW V12 in the back. But of course, he didn't have the might of the BMW M division behind him. And so to chase those power figures, he really wanted the same power figures. He went for a twin turbo setup. And so I'm in a car right now that weighs less than 1200 kilograms it has 650 horsepower on the wheels on the wheels and those wheels are absolutely massive they come off a west bank modified car a racing car they're really not great on the road the car tram lines quite dramatically when the original car had three one fives this car has three nine fives three nine fives whoa oh that was scary nearly got thrown into the bushes there this is like going to one of those bars and there's a mechanical bull except this one's trying to kill me i do like a challenge but wow i am having to concentrate Everything you see on this car, I did myself. Wow. Everything in my shed. Yeah, just about. Uh, there's, there's nothing. I didn't make the engine. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I even did the. I, I fabricated a, a flywheel and also the bell housing adapter between the Audi gearbox and the BMW motor because uh, there's nothing that exists that I know of that I could use. So it's a six-speed manual six -speed gearbox. Audi box. Yes, I did used to have a. Originally, we had a G50 Porsche five-speed gearbox in it and um, I just decided I want to have the six-speed gearbox so I found an Audi gearbox that closely resembled the same gear HS than the original car did. Okay. I think it's every petrol head's dream to drive a McLaren F1. It is one of the best cars if not the best car ever made. Of course, designed and conceived entirely by Durban-born Gordon Murray, an absolute genius of a human being. And I wonder what he thinks of this, a hand-built homage to his genius. It blows your mind to try and figure out how to, to make something that doesn't exist yet. But it was years and years worth of research. Many, many years looking at pictures, trying to get dimensions, buying little model cars, scaling <laughs> them up. <laughs> <laughs> That's unbelievable. And the windscreen? Windscreen is polycarbonate. Everything else, every, all the glass is out of polycarbonate. Um, it's the same stuff that they use on race cars and motorcycle mm. visors. And, and the paint, so McLaren called it papaya orange. I'm yeah. guessing they didn't publish the paint code. No. Uh, for it. <laughs> so. Yeah, that, that was also part of my 20 year research to try and get a paint or the paint that McLaren used, the papaya orange. And I even emailed them and asked them if they would give it to me. Yeah. Obviously they said they wouldn't. So. <laughs> That's very stingy. Yeah. And, um, 
I, I matched it up with colors from little model cars and the little model cars, it's funny, if you scale that color up, it doesn't match, even though it looks right on the model car and the real car did. So eventually I did come across someone that was willing to give me a color code and he said that that was the original color code and I had it mixed and it came out in this color and it looks damn close to the original. It does, so. it really yeah. does. It's matched beautifully. I'm very proud of this car and, and and super proud of all the small little details that I put into this car. I mean, yeah. all of these etch work and everything was done, you know, because of years and years worth of um, research and just checking mm. out exactly how everything works. Even the plaques inside of the car, I had that made to look exactly like the original car. The gear lever, I, I made it and I had to learn how to anodize and everything just to get the gear lever to look exactly like the original car's gear lever. Even sure. the, the fuel pedal and um, the steering wheel, everything is like the original Momo steering wheel sure. with the car had on them. Is that a reverse camera? Yeah, <laughs> that was actually an afterthought um, because it's just so immensely intimidating driving this super white car and sitting in the middle and you are a little bit prohibited with your rear view. So I put the camera in at the back and um, it really helps a lot. Is this wing adjustable? Yes, it is. Yes. So the original car didn't have an adjustable wing, mm. but I really wanted to add that. And McLaren was one of the original people that used an adjustable wing. So this one is adjustable from the inside. Um, it can either do it automatically if you press on the brake pedal, it moves up and down, or you can physically change the setting up and down. Sure for better downforce. I don't know if it really works because I've never driven that fast with this car. <laughs> <laughs> I love the attention to detail. I mean, this plastic louvre here. Yeah. I mean, how did you get that right? Yeah, also pictures. So I had to count uh, how many there was and try and figure out how wide, how far. <laughs> <laughs> That's just yeah. insane. Luckily, the original McLaren had the brake lights was off of a bus. And, uh, really? Yeah, so I could source that easily. That was easy. Yeah, the that easiest part of the whole the board. mirrors also. The mirrors <laughs> is off of a Volkswagen Corrado. So, <laughs> yeah, my uncle in Germany bought them for me and sent it over. So, that's the only thing that's original on this car. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose what's, what's nice about a McLaren F1 is uh, left-hand drives are illegal in this country, but I don't think the government has banned centre drive. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, we're actually busy with a little bit of a, a battle to try and get it registered Is it? for that reason. Because they say that the only thing that you can register as centre drive is a tractor. So oh. this is probably going to become registered as a tractor. As a tractor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. That is fantastic. I can't even on plug anymore. This is one of the greatest expressions of the love of motoring that I've ever encountered. Yes, it's a little bit rough in places. Yes, it's difficult to drive. But this man hand built one of the greatest cars, if not the greatest car ever made. And now he's got one in his garage to look at every morning when he wakes up. If he's having a bad day, go make a cup of coffee go stare at your McLaren F1 and I can promise you just being around it is something so special it is just an absolutely magnificent piece of engineering Donny I absolutely salute you sir may you live long and prosper and hopefully one day I'll have enough money and maybe you can build me one of my own You know, I've always worked with my hands and loved fabricating and this is my my biggest achievement so far, you know, this is, and I don't even know if I want to up it because I just enjoy the car so much. Yeah. I, I don't think there's anything else that I could do or would want to do that's going to be better than this.
Thanks very much for watching. If you've just watched this video, but you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, you absolutely should do that immediately right now. Click the subscribe button. It's a good idea for a bunch of reasons, which I actually don't have really a lot of time to go into, but it's good. It's a good idea. Excellent. Thanks for watching. I said that already. Oh, my God.